this is June, and uh, I try to answer in a simple way. Uh, uh, how, how I designed the, the storyline, it, it was uh, because uh, actually before the Umbrella Movement, mm -hmm. I, I, have, I have been writing different stories, and but uh, after the movement, I threw, I threw it away. Um, because my state of mind is changing as well at the same time. So um, I found that uh, there are some people uh, during the movement, there are some people uh, they uh, they have no political stand actually, but they are uh, executing a political mission. Mm. Yeah. So that's the in inspiration uh, in in my film, the two low level gangsters. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they try to. Uh, do things and uh, and I think the, the the whole atmosphere in the film is a little bit uh, is a satire mm -hmm. yeah yeah yes. it's because uh, I think the the environment uh, our government is being more more and more ridiculous and they they think we are fools and and they they don't even act mm -hmm. yeah and so that's that's the that's how it how it starts. And I'm the second one, the season of the end of the actors. I I mean Wong Fei Pang. Yeah. And the story is begin by a lot of uh, city renews in Hong Kong because uh, Hong Kong the uh, the development of Hong Kong is quite fast. It's like every time you go to Hong Kong in the same place in even the same years, mm -hmm. it's have been changed a bit. Yeah. And Every time you're seeing this, and you were thinking that is it, is it able to last the history of Hong Kong? It's like, and when I go up, and I can can I show my childhood for my son, mm -hmm. and even, and uh, that that emotional is much more uh, make me to think about a lot of even our personalities, because when we when when the time pass and our personalities got change and even your your pursuit of freedoms or even your pursuit of some justice uh, is it will change change it uh, when when the society's whole holds is changing and if you want to fix your uh, your personalities or even your your uh, uh, knowledge or your or your guts is is it possible is we can we can survive that the whole whole society is changing and i also think about uh, in in the umbrella movement or even the previous uh, movement of the uh, uh, Hong Kong, there is they were all saying that there is just a numbers of people saying that we don't need something or don't want something. Uh, the majority is, is don't agree on it. But is it the truth or is it if there is a uh, lots of people saying that you are wrong? Is it your wrong? You you really wrong or you need to keep your identity or you keep your guts to do the things you believe and that's why we try to make the story it's about the season of the end uh, I'm Shifono I'm the, the third segment dialect uh, uh, actually for the very beginning uh, we start without the topic 10 years we just have to like what's Hong Kong next and then I would look back to myself I mean what's the before I mean the past what what's touched me most and I found that um, the language is the in this city is very. I mean, for me, it's um, it's so touched to me. I mean, it's so very related to me. The changing of the language. And uh, before that, I was actually I was the script writer in the industry. And uh, I wrote script for the beginning of wrote the script in Cantonese. And then because uh, like more the the government policy, there's more and more in Hong Kong China composition. And then I I have to write the script in Mandarin. And so that uh, very we, we try to we work very hard on that and we try try to write. But you know that yeah, because that's not my mother tongue and I'm living in Hong Kong and I, I always have to call like I have to call my friend from China that if my if the dialogue is it if I dialogue is it correct or not and then I lose my confidence at all. And I find that I, I, I even yeah, I find that I, I lose my confidence even in write very simple sentences. I even don't know if I'm correct or not. And so that, and that's uh, that's make me really. I mean, I, I don't feel secure at the, at that time. And then, and but you know, uh, in 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 the industry, I mean, in the the experience, filmmakers suggest that uh, Hong Kong is. Uh, I mean, 
they, they said that Hong Kong Hong Kong people are very flexible. You know that before that, before that, I mean before the handover, we are we are the British colony, and then people tend to learn English and they speak English well. But you know that okay after the after the handover and then more um, the Chinese economy and then more and more Chinese customer and the immigrants and then we tend to learn learn Canton, uh, Mandarin. But my question is that. But why people here, they always not think their mother tongue Cantonese is important? Why they think that they are inferior than, than the other language? And we, and we, we found that, I found that I, I'm just like a foreigner in my hometown. I, I, even though just that, as I have said before that, just a just, just few days ago, I back to the, I, I, I back to the Hong Kong International Airport and I want to take back my baggage. And then the staff there and asked me that, uh, can you speak in Mandarin? It, but I mean, I'm I'm going back to the Hong Kong, right? And so that's made me sad, and I just feel that um, yeah, uh, and and also the, just like if I'm and, and also my my I mean if if I have a kid, you know that if I have ten years that uh, if I have a kid and and he's he will be ten years old, and I actually I'm just like the story I'm the I'm the. I'm the driver at the same age, and I'm not really, really good at the Mandarin. And but you know that my kid, maybe I mean probably he will speak Mandarin very well with their generation. And so that I found that there will be a gap between us, and and how would we communicate with the, each others? And so that's why I, I I said the story and and try to find some. I mean, I I just want to audience to to give me the answer about what they what the future they want to be.